Hello! Today we are going to introduce Dataplay Web Portal, which is the main administration module of Dataplay, used to set up new clients, projects, users and their rights. In this tutorial, we will show the process of setting up the working environment for a team of researchers. More specifically, you will learn how to create users, assign users' roles in projects, and define roles for different clients and projects. Let's assume that we have four team members managing various projects in Dataplay. Jack is the project manager responsible for managing clients, projects and team members. Nick and Sarah are doing data analysis and visualization. Emma is an executive who will be reviewing the final reports. First, we need to set up user accounts. We add new users from system menu. As we are using hosted license of Dataplay, we will be adding generic users. Please note that in local instances you can also add your domain users. To create a new user account, we need to fill the information about the user in the form and click Create. As you see, we have added user accounts for the team. Now we need to assign roles to them. We have created four roles which are mostly used. Admin, Author, Viewer and Read Only. The authorized users may see them in Web Portal on their first sign-in. Assigned one of these roles, you will have the permissions attributed to them. And a new role should have a set of specific permissions. However, the user management in Dataplay is dynamic and you may add new roles, modify the existing ones, define new permissions and more. Assume we have assigned these three roles to our research team. Viewer role, which gives permissions to only view the final reports. Our executive Emma will be assigned this role. Author role, for creating new projects and presentations and managing the content of presentations. In our team, Nick and Sarah will be authors. An admin role, where we have checked all the available permissions for overall management of processes. As a project manager, Jack will take this role. As you may see, all the roles are editable. You are also able to define the user's roles for different clients and projects. The enforcement of roles in Dataplay has hierarchical structure. You can apply roles globally or for a specific client and project. As a global admin, let's manage the rights of our team. To make that, go to Users tab. Here you may assign global and client or project level roles to the user by selecting one from the drop-down menu. The user assigned this role will automatically get the corresponding permissions. As Jack should be dealing with all the clients and projects, we assign a global role to him, so he becomes admin for all available clients and their projects. If you assign a role on client level, the user will get that role permissions on all projects of that client. As Nick and Sarah are doing data analysis and visualization, let's assign author roles to them, but this time we will specify client and project level permissions. For example, Nick will have authoring rights for the first two clients and we will give him viewer rights for financial services and clothing accessory providers projects while Sarah will be given only viewer permissions for healthcare company and fashion retail chain clients and will be author for financial services and clothing accessory providers' projects. Lastly, Emma is an executive who requested the research project. Therefore, we will assign her global viewer role so that she is able to review the presentations once they are published. To summarize, in this video we have demonstrated the dynamic user management of Dataplay web portal and you learned how to create user accounts and assign different roles to a team of researchers. During our next video tutorial, we are going to introduce how to create clients and projects in Dataplay web portal. Continue watching our training videos to learn more about Dataplay. Thank you.